trying to do that what's called transition work. Energy up ready. How you say things. So when, when you're gonna do stuff, like if you're adding, adding energy to the you would be something else. Go tunnel. You should be go, go, go. Go tunnel. Yeah, that's it. Good so I can add the energy at my phrase, but I'm still adding energy to the wrong phrase. Yeah. That makes sense. As opposed to go, 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 go. Her, you know, that, that makes sense. So try that again. And then as she, trot, as she gets to that line on the ground, everything, just, just take your foot off the gas, relax your energy motion wise, and relax your energy verbally. Okay, Kelly, back it down. I mean, even if you say something like that, she doesn't understand it. But if you say it that way, you probably will not go. <laughs> go, tunnel, go, girl! Tunnel! Good girl, yay! Take the energy down, relax it. Good girl, keep going. Energy down. Good girl, better, good girl. Go on, tunnel! Razor, good girl, yeah! Good girl. Okay. That was good. I'm just taking your plane. You're not going to keep going in a freaking tunnel. you got to, you know, make it and, 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 you know, make a turn or something like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Well, and, yeah. Yeah. You're just kind of playing catch up all the time type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, and, and what you'll find out, it got really quick, you guys, what you find out, she's always had slower dogs, now she's got a fast one. What, she find, what you'll find out is when she actually starts learning how to make the transitions, that it's actually easier to run this one, yes. even though it's faster and more responsive than the slower dogs, because they will offer to do and help out some of the work. Whereas, like, when you guys have slower dogs, you always feel like you're dragging them through, right? And it always feels like I'm doing a hell of a lot of work for them. For, for only a modest gain, right? But when you have dogs like Callie, once they understand how to make the transition, and once the handler is able to communicate to Callie how to do it, it's actually going to be a lot easier to run because she will do a lot of the work for you. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Always, right? Can I try one more time real quick? Energy up, keep it up. Go, energy, tunnel. Relax it. Good girl, eh? Keep going. Relax. Good girl, keep going. Take it out of the way here. Energy, go, move. Nice. See, now, one of the things you guys can do too, if you guys are teaching or if you guys are just trying to be the peanut gallery that you know, you're the one that's. that's that's going to have to give comments to the person when they come to the ring or whatever. Close your eyes and listen. I should be able to tell what she's doing. Even if I don't see, you know, actually, if I know what the course is, I should be able to tell exactly what part of the course Jan's on simply by listening, not by having to watch. Because I should be able to tell. If she's powering down and saying, okay, but, you know, Callie, back her down. I should know she's going to turn somewhere on that course. If she's saying, get going, move, even if she doesn't tell me the obstacle, I know she's trying to accelerate on, on some part of the course to go to the next obstacle. And the reason why we're doing both visual and verbal cues is because we do need both of them. Everybody wants to just use motion only a lot. And the problem is that you're going to be in a gray zone where it's not going to be so easy to interpret what it is you're doing. So we have to make it crystal clear about everything that's going on. All, at all times, right? So we're always in constant communication with the dog, either physically, motion-wise, body cue-wise, or verbally. So there is absolutely no doubt in the dog's mind what it is or how something has to be done. That makes sense? That was a lot better. Okay, 